in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to color grade your own video footage using the built-in features of Premiere Pro. Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJam and here we are already inside of Premiere Pro with this video clip that we got from Envato Elements. Now, this video is sponsored by Envato Elements, but we'll talk a little bit more about them later on. Now, here we are in our default Premiere Pro workspace and the first thing I want to do to be able to color grade here in Premiere Pro is come up top here to my workspace strip and choose color. You can also access this by going to window and then workspaces and then color. So having selected the color workspace, here we are now. And the first thing I want to do is highlight the clip that I want to work on, which is this clip, obviously. And I'm just going to go ahead and double click on it. And the clip will come up over here in my source monitor. And this is where we're going to be seeing all our edits being made over here on the right in my program monitor. Let me just even them out a little bit more by just clicking and adjusting like so. And that's about pretty even, right? No, here is where all the magic happens over here on the left in your Lumetri color strip, right? And you have your basic corrections here. If you click, you can collapse that. You have creative, you have curves, you have color wheels and match, HSL vignette, right? Now let's go ahead and first make some changes here in our basic corrections, right? Let me just show you this video clip real quick that I got from Envato Elements. Let me go ahead and press play and you'll see it's a very nice shot with the dominant red dress, right? Now let's go back over here to our basic corrections and what I want to do is just, let me just adjust the temperature a little bit just to show you the power that you have in color grading your footage. Now, first things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and bump up the temperature here, maybe to about 10 or so, anywhere there about. Let's go even higher to just show you the difference between the two clips. You can already see what's happening. If you were to hit the tints, maybe to the green side a little bit more, to the negative side. And if you were to go ahead and push saturation all the way down, you can see what's happening there. But that's not exactly what we want. So let me go ahead and just undo that by hitting Ctrl Z. What I can do is just touch the saturation down a little bit, maybe like 90 or 85, anywhere there about, right? And then let's come to contrast. Um, I don't really want to touch too much in contrast, do I? But let me just go to the positive side a little bit, like so. Not much that I can do on the highlights here. I really like this clip as it is. Then for the shadows, if I were to lift these over to the positive side, you'll see what's happening here, right? Let me undo that by double clicking. See that all the dark areas where the shadows would be are getting lighter. If I were to come to the negative side, you can see what's happening there. Let's bring it back to about minus 14. That's looking good. Blacks. Hmm. I'd probably just leave that as is or just touch it to the negative a little bit because I just like how that looks, right? What do you guys think so far? And you can clearly see the difference here. Here's our before, here's our after, right? Now let's come down to creative. You have some controls here that you can play with. You have some looks that you can load on by default that are built into Premiere Pro. If I were to go ahead and just click this drop down, you'll see you have a host of looks here. If you were to click on one of them by Adobe, you'll see it gives you an automatic filter, like an automatic preset, right? You can use that if you want, but if I were to go ahead and undo that by hitting Ctrl and Z, you'll see that this is where we were on our own, right? So we're doing good, but feel free to go ahead and explore all of these looks that you have over here in your creative tab, right? Now let me go ahead and just add a little bit of sharpening, nothing too serious, maybe some faded film, uh, just because we can, right? And vibrance and saturation, let's just leave that as is right here. And the next thing I want to show you is your curves. Obviously, you know, RGB curves, if you were to go ahead and just hit the point curve here and just like bring this up like so, you'll see what you're getting. And feel free to experiment further beyond what I'm showing you here inside of this tutorial right you have so much you can play around with and get the look that best suits your creative needs if i were to come down here to hsl now that we're here let me go ahead and just pick a color using this eyedropper tool you can pick any color from anywhere on your footage 
and here we have our blue and then if i were to adjust these sliders i can adjust the arrows on the top or the arrows on the bottom to give me a wider spectrum of that selected color which is the blue right or to go ahead like so and the more i adjust these you can see is the more of the blue that i'm getting right see that i'm getting more of the sky because i'm increasing the threshold of the blue right and i can decrease it if i want right so that's looking good i'm getting a lot of the sky there if i were to increase this not much is happening there but if i were to increase the top one you can see i'm getting almost all of the sky as well as some of the red dress that's not what i want so let me come back up some more like so and this is all built into premiere pro guys you don't have to download any plugins or use any add-ons right let me just come down some more and now we have the blue selected so we have some controls here you can adjust the temperature of the blue see that it's getting really cold see that let me undo that control z if i were to make it warmer see it's getting more of a like a sunset tone if i were to hit tints on that selected blue see that it's giving me more of a teal looking sky contrast sharpen let's leave those as is let me just touch the saturation and show you what's going to happen obviously you know what's going to happen we get some gray skies here or we get some really really blue or teal skies if we bring it in the opposite direction but let's just bring it down some more because i'm really liking this gray sky look here and a vignette you know what a vignette is right that dark circle around your image if you want but for the purposes of this tutorial let's just add a little bit and you can see this is where we started and this is where we ended up now if i were to go ahead and press play you'll see that it looks real nice right compared to this one right here see that if i were to go to my effects controls here and turn off the lumetri color we can see you still have our video footage in its original state right and remember earlier i told you that this video was sponsored by Envato elements well Envato elements is where i got this awesome video clip from and they have thousands more like it that you can download and practice your color grading skills and it gets even better Envato elements wants to offer you 70 percent off a month's subscription from their website all you have to do is click that first link in this video description let me know in the comments did you know that you have this many controls here inside of premiere pro by itself without any plugins and have you ever just wanted to give your videos a new flavor a new look your own custom taste how confident are you now to try that know that you've seen all you can do here with the Lumetri Color feature in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.